advanced so today we are solving this problem rotating the box so you are given a m cross n matrix of characters so this matrix has uh, all the characters uh, so we are calling it box so representing a side view of a box each cell of the box is one of the following so each cell has only these three types of character either it is an hash which is a stone and either it is an star which uh, uh, an obstacle and uh, if there is only dot then it represents the empty thing okay so what we have to do is like the box is rotated by 90 degree clockwise okay just like in this pic okay so we have to rotate it in 90 degree clockwise causing some of the stone to fall due to gravity obviously the stones would be fall if we rotate a box uh, in 90 degree so something which is written on the left most would be fall down right so same way so each stone falls down until it lands on the obstacles another stone so either it has to be lands on an obstacle then it will stop or it has to uh, lands on a stone okay or the bottom of the box obviously so gravity does not affect the obstacles position so the obstacle which is denoted by star so it will not be affected obviously uh, that uh, that is why it is called obstacle that even if we rotate it it would be uh, stationary it wouldn't move so you can consider just like we have certain things where we put certain things that cannot move down right so and the inertia from the box of rotation does not affect the stone horizontal positions so it is guaranteed that each stone in box rest on an obstacle okay so it is given guarantee that the stone would be definitely stopped by an obstacle it will not break okay or either on another stone or on the bottom of the box so return an n cross m matrix representing the box so let's visualize the things what is actually happening over here so guys you can observe here this is suppose this is our matrix box okay and this is uh, so this is m by n okay so two rows and five columns okay now you can see here that uh, i have a star so this uh, this uh, hash is basically hash is uh, denoting uh, stone and these dot is uh, denoting the empty space and uh, this star basically denotes the obstacle okay so suppose this is our box now i want to rotate it by 90 degrees so we will rotate it now so let's say so what will happen m m would become now 5 right and uh, uh, and the n would become now or uh, 2 dimension would be reversed right so there would be 5 rows now so now let's say we are rotating it so what will happen here so uh, top of it here what it is so let's go here this is an stone right and this is an empty empty space so due to gravity this stone would be moved to here correct so what will happen in in this case our hash would come here correct so let me place here hash okay now th this is another guy so there this will back in empty space right so this uh, how this guy move this is an empty space so it will fall down this is also an empty space fall down and this space is also empty because this hash is already moved to this location so this hash would be finally come to this location correct so i would be putting this hash here okay i would be putting hash here and the remaining things this place this place and this place would be now empty correct and these empty space are denoted by the dot only so let me put remaining dot here i have put the dot dot and dot so we are done for the first row right you remember now this row is becoming here column right this is row but in the answer array it is becoming column now go to this guy we will we will we will update this thing as well so see here this is an empty space this also empty space empty space there are three empty space but this stone when it will go here actually there is an obstacle so this star is an obstacle and due to this obstacle these space would not be filled by this stone so stone would be stay as it is right a stone would be at its place due to this obstacle and obstacle would be already like that only the way which it is sitting and these empty space which are due to this obstacle would be remain empty only like this like this and like this now you guys would have got the idea that what will happen when we rotate it by the 90 degree 
so first of all is our dimension would be reversed so it became now 5 into 2 instead of 2 into 5 that is one thing another thing is all the rows became now columns and another the movement of uh, hashes are like in this such a way that the f this stone would go to the deepest available stone for example uh, deepest available space so see here this stone came down and it uh, it is placed at here because this one placed at the bottom then it uh, when the, then the second one this came to this place so we have basically whatever available boxes we have like empty space if there is no obstacle our stone will go to the deepest possible way but in the second row it was stopped here only even when we have the empty space because of this obstacle so these are the observation that what we have to do okay now few more thing is like what we will do our answer array we will create of the reverse uh, dimension and then what we will do is uh, we would be uh, looking for these fulfillment that we just did now one more thing guys we can observe one more thing in the answer array the any row would become the column and any ith row would become basically the m minus i minus 1th column m minus i minus 1 you can easily visualize it let's say we are adding uh, so you can uh, let's say any row which is second row okay then uh, it's it would be the column so it would be m minus i minus 1 you can just take an example for any i row for example here it is zero row, right so what would be the column here so we will put the value here so what is m m is 2 right so 2 minus 0 minus 1 2 minus 0 minus 1 so what it is it is becoming 1 right so this would be our uh, uh, column so see you can visualize here our zeroth row become here the oneth col column right one column means second column here because it is start from zero so this is why we are uh, we will use this thing now uh, i will show you how we would be doing it so uh, let me show you my code as well as and first we will visualize here also so it would be something like we will have one index deep index okay so this deep index would be the index of the uh, deepest uh, uh, empty space so initially what I am putting n minus 1 so see here this would be our deepest uh, index right in the resultant array this place this place would be the deepest index so I am making it n minus 1 okay because our this is n right the size of columns so I am making it n minus 1 now what we will do is for every row we will go these are these are the row right in the original box for every row we will go one by one so i equal to 0 to m minus 1 okay then we will check so then we will inside it what we will do from 0 j is equal to n minus 1 to okay because here we have to check from here when we gonna fill this we have to check from here because we have to look come from the deepest uh, uh, we have to fill from the deepest uh, empty space right so that is why so j equal to n minus 1 to j greater than or equal to 0 this would be the dimension so j greater than or equal to 0 now in this way what we will do is we will have to check so whenever we are finding a star okay so right now we have this deepest index right so if we are encountering because when we started we already filled only the empty space right because our this answer uh, matrix was initially empty right so we put everything by default uh, space uh, this dot right now what we are doing is in the original this box we will keep on checking so see here initially it is dot only so in case of dot we will not change anything we will as it is because of our deepest index would be still same then we whenever we are encountering a hash so let's say we encountered a hash so in this case what we will do in this case what we will do we will go to the this deep index in the resultant array right this answer array and we will put this has as we have already put right so now what we will do is uh, we will decrease this deep index by one okay so now it will become n minus two like that whatever value so whenever we are encountering a has we will put at deep index and decrease the deep index by one so this is one case now another case is if instead of has if we are encountering the value star 
now star is an obstacle right so in this case what will happen when we are encountering obstacle that means doesn't matter if there were lot of space available like this we have a space we have a space we have a space but these are of no use okay so in this case we will update our deep index so our deep index would be what we will our deep index would be directly j minus 1 okay why because this is an obstacle and obstacles means rest of all the things would be useless all the space would not be useful for the any stone right so deep index now what will become deep index would be j minus 1 basically to the next smaller value right so for example when we were encountering here at this star our deep index was here only right because we didn't find anything we were coming 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 deep index was still here but as soon as star came these deep index of no use so our deep index would be for now would be indicating here and then when star again encounter we will putting that thing same at that deep index value okay so we have to look uh, for these two condition we will use these two for loops and we will look for this condition if it is a hash then go for the corresponding hash condition and put it so how we would put it we will put it like let's say we are calling it answer array okay so this would be like this answer of and uh, what would be this this would be j right because column row would be column column would be uh, row so this would be j and what would be this the second value as we told you it would be the uh, uh, m minus a, m minus i plus m minus i minus one th column right for any i row so we have to put it like this so it would be our m minus i minus 1 okay now see observe here because we are putting for this uh, hash right so instead of j we have to put it at the deep index because deep index would be the place where our uh, uh, this thing will be fall so we can put it deep index so let me just write d i okay because deep index would be very small very big word right so i am putting just di so it would be answer of di and m minus j minus 1 would be equal to hash okay so we have to put this hash like this so this would be this case in case of star star we don't have to put at deep index star we have to anyway put on the j only whatever j is encountering so for that we will what we will do is answer of the j and the m minus i minus 1 because this would be always same so m minus i minus 1 this time it would be what it would be a star so remember these two scenarios dot by default we already filled when we started with the array and finally we would be returning it okay so remember whenever we are finding has we are doing deep index minus minus but if we are encountering a star we are making deep index equal to j minus 1 okay and then finally we will return our answer so i'll show you my corresponding code so see here this is my code so see here i am just initially getting the m and n dimension of the box then i created the answer of n m okay reverse di dimension then initially see here i am filling the dot everywhere because anyway everything is empty in the answer array right now now what we are doing we are starting for i equal to 0 to i less than m for every row basically and then see here i have made the deep index initially equal to n minus 1 and then we are going from right to left okay for every row whatever i row we are checking so see here whenever there is an has what i am doing i am making i am making in the answer array deepest index and m minus i minus 1 right just we are doing like this m minus i minus 1 like this is 0th row right then it became m minus i minus 1 which is one 1th column right this column index is 1 now which was initially here in 0th row so uh, same way we have we are doing here i have dated has here and i am decreasing deep index by 1 why i am decreasing by 1 because there could be the continuous uh, 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 deep index right continuous empty space who knows then see here but in case of a star let's say box i is equal to star then i'm making j minus 1 this time i'm not doing deep, deep index minus minus 1 
for same reason like this we were having deep index here but when we were going this came start so everything is useless our deep index would be the next value so that is why j minus minus next value in the sense we are coming from the right to left so that is why j minus one okay <coughs> and here we are putting this star in this case so answer j m minus one we are putting this uh, star okay dot already done so once we are coming out of this loop everything would be there in the answer array okay so let me execute this code so i am running the code yeah okay let me directly submit it okay unknown okay it is accepted so it is like uh, 79.67 percent so this so here our time complexity would be m cross n right we did the uh, m cross n time complexity similarly for answer also we did the m cross n space complexity so you can say m cross n time complexity m cross n space complexity so thank you for watching this video and if you guys have any concern please definitely make a comment over there thank you